And wh what do you mean by um, uh, the creative? Well, let's get a definition of terms. Mm -hmm. what, who or what is an artist? Well, I've written this book for anyone who does anything in a creative field. I've focused it towards writers, dancers, musicians, painters, sculptors, but it really can extend to anybody who's working in creative field or doing things uh, with scholarship or ingenuity. Uh, it's, it's all about finding that, getting into that space of creative flow, it's been called by other authors. Um, it's that state of being totally immersed in what you're doing so that that you almost feel at one with the project, at one with the art, at one with the medium, and the outside world kind of melts away. In your book, though, what I found so interesting is it's not a solitary process. It is for better, lack of a better word, a community process. I mean, community of the individual, his community or her community. Uh, what do you mean by yes. that? Yes. I, I think that, you know, all of these ideas were born from uh, doing psychotherapy with many, many artists and, and getting to know their inner world and, and what goes on inside as they try to grapple th with the fears and the doubts and the hopes and the fantasies and dreams. and. Um, really coming to understand what goes on inside a person and what I've heard from almost every artist that's come in to, to talk with me is I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I can't seem to to get past this block or I, I can't uh, seem to start. I must be lazy. I must be inadequate. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Maybe I'm weak. And, and uh, our whole culture has taught us that we need to find our strength from within, that, that if we're strong people then we can do it on our own and, and I have found exactly the opposite to be the case. People find their strength to, to take this courageous risk into immersion um, by support from other people. Hmm. Certain kinds of relationships particularly help us to feel stronger, to feel inspired, and to feel comforted in order to um, risk and, and dive into that creative state. So it's not solitary. Although the act of doing a piece of artwork can be quite solitary and many people need to be isolated in order to, to write or to compose a piece of music or whatever, that, that what surrounds that is uh, feeling connected in with other people and that they can turn to other people for for strength and for support and encouragement and comfort. But okay, what is the creative process? Can they help them be creative? I th the creative process as I've understood it is is born out of these immersive experiences um, that if you can allow yourself to to what I've called dive in, immerse into this creative state, and that is letting go of all of your defenses, all of your, your guards, your self-protective guards, and to be totally open to a flow of new ideas is pretty scary because you're really diving into the unknown, you're diving into a lot of uncertainty, you're diving into the, the possibility that you may not be able to be creative in that moment but that when you can allow yourself that and open yourself to that, that's when new ideas spring up. That's when creativity happens. Uh, but, but I don't believe that we can do that in a vacuum. I, I think that, that, that we need uh, supportive people around us that encourage us and, and that gives us the confidence to take that risk. Trying to allay that fear. Yeah.